hello everyone uh, welcome back in the last video we saw uh, how we can use cloud formation service uh, to templatize uh, resources that we need and how cloud formation helps us uh, provisioning uh, this aws resources for us so we saw uh, how to design a cloud formation template and use that to create a stack uh, which ultimately provisions uh, aws resources for us so in the last video we uh, created a simple template uh, that provisions an s3 bucket for us so in this video i'm going to do something similar but instead of uh, creating a template uh, i'm going to use uh, a predefined template and create a stack out of it so let's click on cloud formation service and here let's click directly on the new stack so now here instead of providing it a custom template that we have designed uh, we are going to select one of the predefined templates templates that aws provides so in this case i'm going to show you lamp stack so lamp is basically linux apache mysql and php so we will basically have an ec2 server with all of these components installed on it so we'll come back to see how the template for this particular stack looks like and we'll go into much more details uh, but for now since uh, stack creation generally takes time we'll go ahead and uh, start uh, its creation so click on next and let's give it a name uh, let's call it my lamp stack uh, let's fill this stuff as well all right so i have uh, filled with some values just notice that uh, i have put a uh, db user as eta core and database name as eta core as well uh, and keep in mind uh, this parameters name so uh, when we we will go to uh, the template for the stack uh, we will see uh, where these parameters are coming from uh, we obviously need to specify uh, what are the inputs that you need for stack and uh, you you see it over here right so just keep that in mind and let's go ahead and uh, create the stack uh, you can keep all of this as default click on next uh, here you will see all the summary of what you have selected so far and finally click on create right so now you can click on stack and you can see the events that are in progress so this may take some time so let's go back to our stack and uh, like i said before let's take a look at the template so aws lets you edit uh, the existing templates as well uh, obviously those will be saved as a new template in your uh, in your cloud uh, formation uh, service in your account so let's go ahead and see how uh, that looks like so uh, this is what uh, your uh, lamp stack template looks like so you have aws template format version now this is a static value and uh, it basically denotes the version of uh, this particular template so unless and until a new version comes up uh, you should put this same value uh, then you have description so description basically says uh, what is your uh, cloud formation stack all about so in this case it is a simple ec2 instance that is running uh, your lamp stack uh, then you have parameters so now if you remember uh, i had uh, pointed out some of the parameters that uh, the lamp stack uh, was taking uh, before we could go ahead and provision it so these are the same parameters uh, so you can uh, provide the inputs that your stack needs uh, in the parameter section so uh, if you remember that we had key name which is basically the ssh key name you have db name uh, which we had provided as ethacor similarly we had uh, db user uh, which also we had provided a, as ethacor so all of this uh, provided in parameter is taken as input before uh, the stack is created uh, next we have uh, mappings uh, so in mapping section you can define the depend dependencies between uh, the aws resources uh, and next you have uh, the resources uh, like we saw in the previous video as well uh, resources define the actual uh, aws resources that you want uh, cloud formation to provision so in the last video we had simply an s3 bucket details over here uh, in this case we have a web server instance details uh, which is nothing but an ec2 instance 
with much granular control so we want a EC2 instance uh, to be configured and deployed and we want this set of packages to be installed and then we want to configure something more uh, like for example uh, create a user in MySQL create a database uh, in the MySQL and stuff like that so the rest of the stuff here is doing the same thing so I'm not going to go into details of all of this you can go ahead and read it up but the important thing is that uh, you can see that it is referencing DB root password now this is something that you have provided in the parameters so before you create the stack this is asked from the user and then it is referenced here so uh, the, the things that you specify in parameters are taken as input from the user before they can go ahead and create that stack and that is used to configure your template uh, and finally you have output where you can uh, mention if there are any attributes or details you want to see uh, when the stack is completely created so uh, in the last uh, video we did not have any output section uh, for the S3 bucket uh, but we did say that you can have an output section where you can provide uh, output details so for example if you have a web server you can have the URL of that web server as in the output details or if you have an elastic load balancer then you can have the public DNS of that uh, load balancer in the output now since this is a LAMP stack you have an Apache server running uh, we can get uh, the particular web server URL uh, and show it in the outputs uh, so important thing to note here is uh, fn get uh, att uh, which is uh, the function that we use to get uh, the URL of uh, our web server so I hope that uh, pretty much clarifies uh, most of the things that are uh, that we need to understand uh, in terms of cloud formation template and given a new template uh, you should be able to understand uh, what all the sections are and what is it doing so let's go back to our stack and I hope uh, it would be created by now yep there we go you can see that it is created and uh, all right so let's go back uh, select this and select output and you can see as we had provided website URL and the output of uh, the stack uh, you can see that it has provided this output and if you click on this you can see that it it gives you the LAMP stack installation details right so uh, if you see that uh, the LAMP stack is successfully configured for you all right so let's go to EC2 instance and see that our EC2 instance is actually up and running right so you can see that uh, one instance is running and let's go ahead and uh, connect to it alright so we are connected to the uh, EC2 instance that was created as a part of uh, LAMP stack creation so let's quickly check uh, the database that we had created uh, so let's select mysql minus u we had given username as ethacore and we'll put in the password and that, as you can see that we are able to connect to MySQL database using the database username and password that we had configured in the stack and we had also uh, mentioned the database name as ethacore so hopefully that database should show up here now yep as you can see that uh, there's a database called ethaco that is created here right so all of this data is taken from the stack and when the lab stack is actually configured in the uh, ec2 instance for you all of these configurations are applied and ready for you to use right so that's that's all for uh, cloud formation template uh, to let me know if you have any questions thank you